what's up everybody welcome to yet another episode of as told by gonzo the youtube channel where i talk about nerdy stuff whether it's pop vinyl music or the love and passion i have for film got two things to let you guys know about first sorry about my voice i'm getting over uh finally getting over uh, the bitter end of a cold so my voice is still a little raspy groggly um so yeah don't mind that second announcement i want to tell you guys about my two uh, social media accounts that you should go definitely follow me on um, facebook.com slash as told by gonzo uh, the fan page there you could go and um, like the page and you'll get exclusive content uh, and a lot of my written movie reviews that I do uh, stuff that I don't review on the channel and then also follow me on my personal Instagram account at nerdcore for gonzo um, I will have the links down below so in today's video we are going to be looking at my TV series collection, both Blu-ray and DVD, um, so there are no particular order. Um, I'm probably not going to give you a big review on each one because that would take forever. And of course I just don't want to bore you with TV shows that you probably already know about. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first one up, incredibly great show from the 90s, um, The Adventures of Pete and Pete Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, these are part of the Nickelodeon Rewind that they had going on several years ago. Um, but they never released the rest of the series of Adventures of Pete Pete, which makes me extremely mad because some of the great episodes were in the later seasons of the series. Because um, Adventures of Pete Pete is one of my favorite shows from the 90s. Um, and you will see a pattern of 90s shows, trust me. Another 90s show, Carissa Explains It All. Um, they've only released season one, which makes me mad. Um, another show that I've that I've seen the complete series of, I just don't own um, the whole series, but I pick them up as they come. As uh, Home Improvements, I have season eight, uh, season seven, season four, season three, season two, and of course the complete first season. Um, I do admit the last two seasons without Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Um, wasn't really as funny. The great chemistry him and um, Tim Allen have bouncing off each other is just incredible. The next show is of course another 90s show. Uh, it's Rocco's Modern Life, the complete series. 8 disc set comes with all four seasons brought to you by Shout Factory. Um, Shout Factory is an incredible company and this is an incredible show. I love Rocco's Modern Life. I love that old 90s um, cartoon animated style. Um, incredible show. A lot of, lot of crude humor in this. Not as much as Red and Stimpy though, but uh, the Fatheads. This has to be my favorite show of all time. Uh, I, I could watch this show over and over and I still do on Netflix. It is uh, The Wonder Years. I have all four seasons that have been released. There is six seasons, so um, they haven't released uh, the last two yet, but they are going to be. I hope so. Um, they do have this complete box set series though, which is like a hundred bucks. I don't really spend like spending that much. Um, next show is an HBO show and it is the first three seasons of Girls. Um, now I have a love and hate relationship with the show. I really enjoyed the first two seasons and then the third season just made me extremely mad. Another show that was really a big, uh, really big hit when it came out. Uh, that's Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson in True Detective. Oh my gosh, that show is incredible. Go watch it. Uh, it is American Horror Story. Um, so I will give American Horror Story a try. I didn't really enjoy it the first time I watched it, but I will give it another try. Another show that I've heard great things about, I've also heard terrible things about, um, but I got it on sale for $10. Um, so I decided to uh, do a blind buy and check it out. And that is Gotham here on Blu-ray. Um, so I will give that a watch because I do enjoy Batman. So, and Of course, it isn't about Batman. It's kind of like about uh, Commissioner Gordon. So, Next show, Saved by the Bell, Seasons 1 and 2, and then Season 5. Uh, i got Power Rangers Season 1, Volume 1. I haven't collected the rest of the series yet, um, but who doesn't love the Power Rangers? Are You Afraid of the Dark Season 1? I love this show. Um... Unfortunately, it's not an official release. It's an on Amazon burn on demand. Um, it is a Canadian show, so I think there's some rights issues about getting it released in America. 
even though they did release the complete series years and years ago in America officially, um, but those are rare and out of print and very hard to find. Um, next show, I haven't really picked up and watched, um, but it has uh, Bruce Campbell in it, um, and that is The Adventures of Briscoe Country Ju County Jr. Anything with Bruce Campbell, um, I freaking love, because he's, of course, in The Evil Dead, and he's just really a really funny actor. Um, so I gotta sit down and watch that. Another one of my favorite shows ever, and it's finally getting a Blu-ray release, I'm so excited. Uh, comes out in March on Blu-ray, and that is Freaks and Geeks. Holy shit, this freaking show is amazing. I wish it didn't get canceled. Another uh, old school show, Growing Pain, seasons one and two. Uh, the Brady Bunch, seasons one and four. Uh, two Broke Girls, seasons one. I love that show, it's really good. Really funny, actually. Uh, Big Bang Theory, seasons 2, 3, and 4, and and 8, the last uh, the last season to be released. Uh, I love Big Bang Theory. It's such an incredible, funny show. I don't know why it gets some, so much hate sometimes. Um, I think it's funny. I don't know, I think it's funny. Uh, Grounded for Life, seasons 1, and season 2. Uh, Community, season 5. Uh, Awkward, seasons 1 and 2. Um... Didn't enjoy it. I thought it was. It's pretty stupid. Um, Empire Seasons 1 and 2. Steve Buscemi is amazing. Um, haven't watched the rest of the series yet, but I enjoy Seasons 1 and 2. Um, I haven't seen this show, but I really enjoy Anna Paquin. True Blood. Um, I've heard really good things about it, and I've heard really bad things about it as it gets worse throughout the series. Um, another show that I've watched the first couple episodes of, and I really like it so far, um, it's Carnival. Third Rock from the Sun, Season 1. Uh, Family Matters, Seasons 1. Season 2. Season 3. And of course, Season 4. I have two copies of it. One is a distribution error version, which has a different aspect ratio. And then the correct aspect ratio is on this one. Um, hopefully, they will release the rest of the series because I um, will be incredibly mad and sad if they don't. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, um, Doogie Howser, what am I doing, Doogie Howser, season one. Um, this is an actual really hard f show to find, it's out of print. Unsolved Mysteries, um, the ghost versions, um, these are the go all the ghost episodes, I love that show, still creeps me out today, um, god, the show used to creep me out when I was a kid, still does too. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, the complete series here on DVD, incredible incredible show I love that show and of course Cowboy Bebop the complete series on blu-ray this freaking thing looks amazing oh my god for 90s uh, animated show anime show it looks incredible on blu-ray alright so I also uh, grew up watching this show um, here off and on I haven't seen the whole series yet uh, but it's Star Trek the next generation season one and of course season three um, I don't know if I'm ever going to collect this whole series. These freaking things are so expensive. It's incredible how expensive they are. My One of my favorite shows that's airing now um, is, of course, Shameless. Uh, seasons 1, Seasons 2, Season 3, and Season 4. I haven't collected Season 5 yet, but I have seen it. And I am currently watching Season 6 on Showtime right now. And it is incredible. This show is amazing. Wilfred which, uh, with uh, Elijah Wood. Um, I've only seen the first season and I really enjoyed it. Breaking Bad seasons 1 and 2. I fell in love with the first season and I have yet to watch the second season. Um, but I do own it so I have to sit down and watch it. Pee Wee's Playhouse, the complete series. I love Pee Wee. I'm pretty excited for Pee Wee's Holiday being released on Netflix. Um, I believe in March. Alright, so m probably my second favorite behind the Wonder Years of favorite shows of all time. It is Roseanne. I have all nine seasons except for season one. Um, and these are the original Anchor Bay, Carsey Warner releases. Um, so I love this show. It's incredible. I love Roseanne. It's just so, feels like it's so real. Like you could actually go to middle of America and find a family just like this. Um, it's, I love Roseanne, she is a very funny comedian, 
and how can you not go, you cannot go wrong with John Goodman. Uh, going back to when I was a skater kid, uh, Viva La Bam, the first season, Bam Margera. Um, another show that's kind of underrated, and I don't hear many people talk about it, it's Life with Derek, a TV series that I wish they would release the complete collection or something. They have it in the UK for some odd reason, but not in America, and it's Malcolm in the Middle, the complete series, I mean the complete first season. Um, I love the show, super funny. Dawson's Creek, Guilty Pleasure, Trashy Show, uh, complete first season. I love Dawson's Creek. Alright, next one up is Hey Arnold, the complete series. Yes, all five seasons. I believe this is like a 10 disc set. Um, all 100 episodes on 16 discs, never mind. Um, I love this show. Very inexpensive, actually, this the complete series by Shout Factory. Um, yeah, I, I heard rumors that they were going to try to bring this back, but I don't know. I don't know. Actually, the creator from this show, Craig Bartlett, actually lives in Seattle, um, which is like 45 minutes away. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, Masters of Sex. Um, this is a very interesting show. Um, I've watched the complete first season, me and my girlfriend. Um, seeing like reviews on this show, how it was really good. So we seen it like a Black Friday, like two years ago. And we picked it up and we really enjoy the show. We just haven't watched um, the second season or even kept up on it. Guilty Pleasure Show, Jersey Shore, seasons one and two. Don't judge me. Another show that I really enjoy. From my childhood, of course, Boy Meets World, the complete series, all seven seasons. Um, I know there was uh, Disney back, way back ago, they released the first three seasons on DVD, but of course they weren't selling well, um, so they stopped releasing them, and then several years later, um, Lionsgate got the rights to it and released the complete series on DVD, and now they have Girl Meets World, which I watched the first season, and it's actually really not that bad. From a from a fan from the original series, I could appreciate the new the new Girl Meets World. And that is it for my TV show series collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favorite show is airing now, and what like a like a like a past show that you used to like to watch maybe as a child or. Uh, you know, a, sh a show that's already ended or something like that. What's your TV show? What's What kind of TV do you guys watch? Because um, I watch a variety of range of TV shows. Um, so thank you again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And definitely uh, check out uh, Facebook.com forward slash as told by Gonzo the fan page. And of course, Instagram accounts at Nerdcore for Gonzo. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next Monday. Later.